Hello friends! As every week we bring you a new superclass, here we extend the time by one minute to explain it in more detail. In this new edition we will create volumetric luminaires with a 3D look. In this exercise I'm going to do it with a text and a background light but you can use the same tools to create volumetric lights and apply them to another situation. Okay let's get started, first I'm going to write some text, center it on the screen and convert it to a 3D layer, then we'll create a solid gray that we'll call floor, convert to 3D layer as well. Now rotate and arrange the elements so that the text will display on top of it. We will create a pre-composition with the text layer, here I place it as the name title, and I arrange the layers so that the title is above the floor. We will then create a black background and place it under the layer floor. The magic begins when we add a point light with shadows. Place our light behind the title. Select the title and press it twice in succession to bring up the light related features. Now we need to activate the cast shadow. We need a camera so we create a 28mm camera and also a 3D null object. Link the camera to our 3D object. Now if we move or rotate the 3D null object the camera will copy the motion. Now we need to create the volumetric light, for this we place a solid in our scene and mask it with the elliptical tool and center it. Make it 3D and move it behind the title. Then we create an adjustment layer to apply it the CC radial fast blur effect to. We change the zoom type to bright and adjust the amount of effect we want to control. Now we create a new 3D null object. We are going to arrange a bit and apply a name to our layers to have more order and to be able to visualize each of the components faster. We can already see how the effect is created but there is a little more to go. Now the null object, we move it behind the title and move it away. Later if we want, can relocate his position. Okay let's go to an important part of the tutorial, attention. In our adjustments layer with the radial fast blur effect we are going to look for the center option and press to display its options. We need to bind the center option to the null object created earlier. Now we move to the expression and add period to comp, parentheses, barcodes 0, 0, 0, parentheses, brackets, semicolons. If all is well, the effect should have been applied correctly. We move the camera to see how the effect has been applied. It seems that everything is going well. Now we apply the curve effect to the adjustment layer to add a greater contrast to the light. Now we only have to change the layer mode to screen. Let's tweak the quick blur radial effect a bit for a more intense. Okay, it looks a lot better now. To add some color we are going to add a new curve effect and adjust until we have the result we want. Also for more contrast we apply a levels effect. With this you already have a good idea of how to make the volumetric lights, but let's go ahead and do a few more things to explore more in the effect. Okay now we add a solid and apply the turbulent noise effect. Set the noise type to dynamic. Modify the contrast. 
pull down the evolution options to place the expression time asterisk 150. We apply a mask to the noise layer with the ellipse tool and soften the edges. We make it 3D. Now we press the A key twice and select that it does not accept lights. OK now we move it behind the title and adjust its visual position. In this case, I'm also going to smooth the edges of the volumetric light layer in the mask options. And ready we have our complete effect. You can play with the infinite different options that there are to create what you want. I hope you like the tutorial. Any questions you can write in the comments section and we will gladly answer you. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.